Good afternoon, Fishers. Mama Prince here. Um, there's a lot of very, very new content for us to explore, uh, and I'm going to go over it very, very quickly, as fast as I can, uh, and let's see how it goes. So, there's new spots. Three new types of spots added. Ocean, coast, and river. Ocean and coast hotspots are now marked with seagulls and fish. River spots are marked with just fish. Fishing spots seem to disappear every 30 minutes. There's new fish. Black porgy, tiger puffer. Uh, Latex Brahmasilus, the giant octopus, blue grouper, these all have the wrong names. Uh, we're trying to get a translated name, list of names and where they are. We found some of them, some of them are confirmed. Uh, one thing that I should mention, the black puffer, no sorry, black porgy. Uh, <laughs> black porgy is, uh, the XP seems to be broken. Same with the spotted sea bass uh, on the new hotspots. Ocean spots. They only give out gold and f uh, goldfish and coals. So whenever you see a seagull spot in the middle of the ocean, it's always going to be good to go for it. <clears throat> they have new fish and old fish, but they're all gold. So these um, spots that you see out in the ocean will only give you goldfish, no matter how often you fish, you, how long you fish in there. If it gives you something that's not a goldfish, it means that the spot's about to die. Uh, the catch time seems to be anywhere between 45 seconds and 1 minute, so it's actually uh, longer than it used to be when fishing on a hot spot. And we also uh, already half confirmed that uh, spots might be tied to fishing rank. So I can see some spots that other people can't being master level. Um, there's also a gate for how, uh, for what level you are that where you can fish in it also. So let's say there's a master spot. I can see it and fish in it. Somebody one level below me, so um, artisan, can, can not see it but can fish in it. Below that level, so professional, they can't, they can't see it nor can they fish in it. So it's gated by content. I don't know if there's any guru spots. That would be interesting to find out. Um, river spots. So we can catch, uh, river spots are different. They don't have seagulls above them. Uh, we haven't had much testing with them because it's trying to find them. Uh, you can catch the river, so freshwater goldfish. So we've had a spot that had piranha in it. Um, we've been running up and down rivers as fast as we can on horses looking for river spots. Um, so the best way to find new spots. Oh, look at that, that's good timing. I'd have my boat. <laughs> okay, so this is what you're looking for. And I, I'll have already put up a picture by this point, but this is what you're looking for. And unfortunately, I don't have my boat. And we're just going to record by uh, sailing on this nice nice ferry that we've got. Okay, so how to find the new spots. Um, basically, you want to sail around and hope for the best until we figure out how to do it. We've had the best luck in Ilya Island. I've heard that Ethereum is quite good for it. I know that um, east of Ilya Island doesn't seem to have any spawns whatsoever. So I wouldn't bother trying out there. These spots are very, very good, and I honestly think that it is a buff to active fishing. So, how to find the new spots? You want to go out and search, you want to go out and search these these key areas, and you want to go out and... What we've been doing is we've been going out in teams of two in, in, our, in our guild. We've been going out in teams of two, one driver, and one person at the spot. So the spotter goes into observe mode, zooms as high up as possible to try and increase the draw distance, and you can see over the top of mountains, and that person is the spotter and looks for um, distant seagull spots. That's what we're doing for now, because we don't have any other option. <laughs> Soon we'll hopefully track a pattern, but we're not sure. Coal spots. Oh my goodness, these are fun. So if you hang about at the, uh, if you hang around Velia, Velia docks, like I do on a Saturday night, um, you you might see some seagull spots just outside of the shore, and these spots um, are coal spots or coelacanth spots. Basically, the first person who casts their rod into the coelacanth spot will be rewarded with one coelacanth. Or, if you're using a triple rod, like we have been, multiple rods. There's already been a picture of somebody who's caught four rods. That person is now my god. Uh, I've caught three as, a, as my largest catch so far. So yeah, it's fun. It's fun, fun, fun. And um, we had a nice race on stream. There was, a, there was me and another guy racing towards it, and I got there first, and it was very fun. So, yeah. Uh, energy fishing. So, we now have energy fishing. And I can even show you that right, right this very second as I catch a hook. So, if I hold down the spacebar, it now builds up energy on the left-hand side. There's a new, uh, we've got a new graphic, a new system. It looks really nice. And so I've just burned 10 energy straight away. And it spends the energy as soon as you cast it, not if you catch something. Uh, and what this does is gives you a chance at getting an extra fish like the triple float fishing rod. I absolutely 100% don't think it's worth it, but it's worth mentioning at least. Okay, shards. I know that you guys want shards, and that is literally the only reason you're here. 
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. You can't get shards from the new seagull spots. Um, I don't know the current rates or anything like that or where to fish them. But for now, um, people are just fishing overnight just at any old random spot and still seeing a decent amount of relic shards. We'll have to wait until the future until we found some more spots for that. Uh, triple Floor Fishing Rod. Oh my goodness, has this thing changed. Uh, triple, rod, triple Rod is now worth a hell of a lot more than it used to be. Not only has the max price on the market uh, risen. There we go. I got With 10 energy, I got a Filefish and a Clownfish. <laughs> but I am on the coast. So, um, Triple Rod max price has increased on the market. Um, I bought three for 600, 600k each, and I still think it's worth it at that price because of the seal account spots now. Um, the fishing rod quest has changed, and I'll be releasing a video with that. It's all new fish, and it's all fish in the new spots. Yeah, boats, fishing boats have increased in price. Um, they have two point, uh, I think it's about two point four million there now capped, but it requires cloth in the build process. I don't know if it's profitable or not, but I like being able to buy them. Harpoonin. Harpoon has received a pretty significant buff, um, and it just all around it's just it's always been fun to do because the mini games are more interactive. So I'm I'm going to be doing a lot more harpooning I think, and I caught my first uh, sperm whale, which is great. There's still lots of gr uh, greens in the loot table. There's less white, but more gold. AFK fishing. Let's talk about that. Right now, AFK fishing has a significant nerf until we can figure out exactly what's going on. If static spots exist, whether they don't, whether they, et cetera, et cetera. Right now, uh, I don't know. Fish wherever until we can figure it out. What I would suggest, um, and what we've had the most luck doing, is fishing as far away from the shore as possible. This might be an unconfirmed theory. This might be RNG. This might be tinfoil hat time. But that's where we've had the best luck. And you guys should definitely try that out. Um... I will be updating all this information as we find it out. There is probably a lot more that I've forgotten, but we will. I will hopefully rectify that in the future. All right, thanks. Thank you guys for watching.